Y'all, I was trying to be cute and I got these. And you can't tell me that these don't look like those glasses that they be giving babies. When babies can't see and they be having those glasses that you got like strapped to their heads. What up? My name is Shay Fox and this is the Major Looks channel. And today we're going to be talking about the best unisex bags that you can get right now. We're talking contemporary to high-end luxury bags that are on the market that I think are the best unisex pieces that you can get currently. Personally, I like seeing more guys wearing bags now because the, the big old wallet in the cargo pants pocket look was not it. Y'all look like y'all smuggling minions. So on this list, I have included actual bags, like specific bags, and also types of bags. So really you can take this list for what it is, take what you want from the list. And clearly things are opening up now. And so I wanted to drop a little bit of information um, in these videos here and there, just to make you a more socially aware person. We can get these looks off y'all. We just gotta be responsible, okay? So I have actually partnered with the Better Internet Organization. They are basically helping me give y'all the facts, like giving y'all information uh, that you will just need as you navigate this world. See how your actions influence the planet influence the world at large. More than 70% of Americans age 30 or older have received at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine as of the end of June. We gotta keep pushing forward with the vaccinations, y'all. The US is actually working um, to ship a surplus of the vaccines abroad to other nations. This will include at least 80 million doses of Moderna, Pfizer, and Johnson & Johnson vaccines and the AstraZeneca, AstraZeneca? Vaccine combined. The pandemic has killed over 3,924,865 people worldwide. That said, research everything. This is a very personal choice. Um, I am just here to give you the information that you can use with that research, okay? But uh, at this point, let's get into these bags. I feel like because Beyonce just posted a photo in it, um, let's just go ahead and talk about it. The Telfar bag. The Telfar bag, this is my favorite bag. I'm not even gonna lie, I have like four bags and only two of them are not canvas. And this is one of the two. So this is my Telfar bag. I have this in a medium. I think that this is the perfect bag. The reason why I think this is the perfect bag is because um, number one, I use mine mainly for when I'm going to coffee shops. Uh, if I've got work to do, I'll take it to shoots and stuff like that. This is my laptop. It's about a 13 inch and then I have a slip over it. It does fit right inside. And then I have hella room for other things. And so this is gonna be number one on my list for number one, the, the affordability factor. I know people have talked about how Telfar bags are really hard to get, but I wanna say every time I've gotten a Telfar bag, I've gotten a Telfar bag. Um, if you just sign up for the newsletter, they tell you what color is gonna drop and when and what time you need to be on the website so that you can get yours. Um, and so I just follow that process and I've been able to get the bags that I have wanted. I don't know. I don't know how I've been able to be so lucky, but I know people talk about how hard they are to get, but I haven't really had any issues getting it. It's a vegan leather as well. It's really good quality and it's just a simple basic bag that's gonna work with a lot of what's going on in your closet. It's equal parts functional as it is pretty. So this next bag is actually one that is a bit of a trend right now and it's an expensive trend at that so it's not going to be for everybody but it is the Bottega Veneta cassette bag. I This is probably one of the first bags other than the Chanel flat bag that I've seen a lot of guys actually wearing. More specifically on Instagram I haven't really seen a lot of people outside wearing them. I'm sorry for the construction outside y'all. It's it's giving riffraff and I apologize. I think the thing that makes a bag a bag unisex or androgynous or something that would appeal to both men and women and everyone beyond and in between, anything with basically like a square or a rectangle shape I think is going to kind of inherently be a bit more androgynous, a bit more unisex looking. And I think that it's because one, it kind of mimics a briefcase shape a bit. Um, and then two, we just see a lot of purses with more exaggerated shapes. And so when you break it, so when you look at those more simple shapes, I think you kind of have more room uh, to play with those. That's why this bag is added, has been added to this list. You can cross body this bag. It comes in this really pretty like yellow color, almost like a chartreuse kind of yellow, uh, black. 
And the main reason why I love this bag, I will never buy it, but if you want to gift it to me, hey, shout outs. The reason why I love this bag is because of the quilting kind of pillowy feature of it. Um, I know that once again, when we talk about menswear, and I know that I'm putting a lot of the blame on menswear for being boring, but let's be honest, between menswear and women's wear, we've all been to an old navy men's section, okay? It's gonna give you a nice texture, it's gonna give you something really interesting to look at and something that's a little less boring, um, and it's gonna add a little bit of dimension, in my opinion, to your outfit. So this is a type of bag that I think will work for pretty much everybody, and the thing is is that you can find them really anywhere. You can go high end, you can go low end, or wherever you wanna do, and that is the leather tote bag, and that's pretty much what this is um i think the main difference between this and the more traditional leather tote bags that i'm thinking of in my head uh, is that you're probably only going to get one set of straps which will be something shorter probably like these at the top uh, you're probably not going to be able to cross body a tote but they do have totes that you can do that with if that's your preference not only are these bags good for everyday use uh i think that the fact that they are so simple in nature it's literally just a square or a rectangle um whether that be hot dog or hamburger style if you find one in like a really nice color i know comme des garçons has like a red one that's really nice um on my summer wish list i talked about wanting um this cobalt blue acne studios leather tote they also kind of have one in this really pretty black color um i think that it just adds I think that it elevates your outfit more than a canvas tote bag would. I think that leather tote bags are also just accessible and they just look nice and they are pr fairly gender neutral uh, regardless of the color that you get it in. And I think that's what I like about tote bags so much, whether they be canvas or leather, is they're so basic, they're so simple in nature that if you find one in a really punchy color, then it just elevates whatever you're wearing so much or it just elevates the actual bag itself so much um this is a type of tote bag um and i know that these are, could be jumbled together but i do want to highlight specific bags that i've seen that um are on the more affordable side that are really nice bags uh to include into this video and that is going to be the mark jacobs tote bag and it's a really simple canvas tote bag i believe i don't think I've seen any in leather all the ones that I've seen have been in like a heavy-duty kind of canvas um, with the big Marc Jacobs logo on the front these are just really nice bags they are really simple they kind of give me APC vibes APC tote bags are a thing as well um, and that heavy-duty kind of canvas material it just gives your outfit some nice texture uh, it has almost like an army surplus kind of feel to it um, while being really functional and stylish at the same time this next bag is kind of a joke to me, but I'm going to include it because I think of it more as an accessory rather than a useful bag, but it's gonna be the Jack Moose or the Jacques Moose or Jacques Moose. Let me know how you say that um, in the comments because I don't know. I'm I'm from Virginia. I, eh. Bags, the kind of sling bags that go over the neck. Um, you could also crossbody them. Like I said, I feel like this is more of an accessory. Uh, I don't, if you don't have any bags at all, I would not suggest getting this one first just because it's not fully functional. I think you should get something more like this, more like an everyday kind of medium size bag. If you're gonna like purchase a bag at all, and especially if you're gonna go designer with it, you might as well get one that's actually useful first before you go get the more uh, kind of decorative, tiny, tiny leather goods. Um, but that said, they are cute. They're kitschy. Uh, all the summer sales are going on right now, so you can probably get one on sale. They come in a bunch of different colors. This, the reason why I'm adding this to the list is because I know it's something that a lot of people would like, even if it's not my personal taste. And I'm also adding this to the list because I feel like I feel like it is the it is the present times fanny pack. I feel like fanny packs. What? what 2015 to 17 um we're definitely in their prime i personally don't like fanny packs but you know i think that this bag is kind of similar and that when you wore a fanny pack like yes it's great because you can hold your phone in there you put your wallet in there um maybe like some gum or whatever 
but I feel like it was more for the aesthetic of the fanny pack. And it was just an, a plus. It was a bonus that you could also hold things in it too. Whereas the Jacquemus bag kind of gives me the same vibes as it's more ornamental. It's more of something to kind of add to your outfit. And then the functionality aspect of it comes second. So that's why, you know, I'm giving grace. I'm giving this bag some grace, okay? Now the next bag, it's a type of bag, but it's also a specific brand. Um, and that is gonna be Prada crossbody bags. The Prada men's section when it comes to bags is low-key fire. Well, it's high-key fire, it's Prada. But um, I have one right here. This is my, I don't even know what the specific name for this bag is. I honestly wanna say that if you go to the Prada website and go to like the, the men's bag section, they don't really have a lot of names. Like it's like Prada Saffiano leather tote bag, you know, or Prada nylon tote bag. Like they just kind of tell you what the materials of the bag are and they put Prada and then what type of bag it is. This is mine. I got this when I was on vacation. I got this when I was on vacation and it is just a black square crossbody bag the only thing i don't like about this bag is how this kind of just like flaps around down here like there's not another belt loop so that i could kind of you know hold it down in place it's like the perfect size because it's functional like what do i have in here right now this, this is a little heavy <laughs> let's see what's in here i think i wore this to the club or something or rather my girlfriend wore this to the club because i see lip gloss and a receipt more lip gloss a wallet a little aqua form oh my weed pen fully understand if you're supposed to let me know if, if there are any bag people in the in the comments let me know but like i want to say you can take this and then fasten it here and then carry it this way however i don't see how that would be better or different to be honest with you another reason why i added this bag to the list and why i'm putting prada bags or just prada men's bags in general on this list is because this is just my opinion but I feel that when there is a bag that has gold um, hardware on it, it reads more of a purse. It reads more feminine to me than silver does. Let me know if y'all feel differently or what, but it's just whenever I see, it could be a, any color bag, any color bag. But if there's gold hardware on it, if it's got gold zippers, gold accents, logos, things like that, it just looks more of like a purse to me. I don't know, I can't quite explain that, but most, if not all, don't hold me to that, but most of the Prada bags that I saw had silver hardware. So if that's something that you care about, something to know. Okay, so we're coming to the end of the list. I'm, I have the last two bags that I think um, are amazing choices if you choose to make them the first one is going to be a pouch now a pouch is similar to a clutch but i think the main distinction and i'm not a, i didn't go to school for this or anything so correct me if i'm wrong but i think the main distinction between a pouch and a clutch is that a clutch is meant to kind of be on its own it's small it's not really meant to hold a bunch of stuff in it pretty much the the necessities like your phone your wallet your keys maybe a lip gloss or some gum, chapstick, whatever. A pouch, same kind of thing, but it can also be put inside of a bigger bag. So if I had a pouch that was around the size of this right here, I mean, I don't know how useful that would be, but say it was around the size of this notepad, this would then be able to go inside of my bigger bag and say I'm running errands or whatever and I don't wanna take my whole bag, I can just use the pouch. I also wanna mention that you can find pouches at really good prices right now because like I said, everybody's doing their uh, their summer sale. So go on Farfetch, go on Essence, go on Netta Porter and see what you can find. But pouches are really good because I think that there's like a natural kind of chic element to them because you can, get a you can get a pouch that is more structured, you can get a pouch that's more uh, of a malleable kind of fabric, but either way, it's kind of only meant to carry like the necessities, your phone, your wallet, a couple keys, 
and then that's about it. Uh, you can wear it kind of tucked under your arm like a clutch. You could have it just in your hand holding it. Either way, I just think it looks really sharp. Like imagine you go to the bar or something and you wait in and you get the outfit on and you got the clutch right up, or you got the, the pouch right up in here and you just wait in with the pouch like this. Everything. Everything. I really like Comme des Garcons pouches. I also like Acne Studios pouches, but I have a more like simpler aesthetic. I like typography as well. So that's why I like Comme des Garcons so, so much, at least their wallets anyway. But really like look anywhere, they're everywhere. And the very last bag that I'm going to mention um, are novelty bags. So when I think of novelty bags, I think of, I remember JW Anderson had these like bat like these like baseball cap bags i remember like the ball bags um any type of bag that is like very clearly meant to be a kitschy cute thing um because i feel like or uh rude has those like cigarette those cigarette uh pack bags i think that anything that is like really heavily stylized and designed in that way is naturally kind of unisex because at that point if you're going to wear that bag, then you are you are someone of a certain personality and of a certain style that can really do something with that bag. Um, this is very clearly not an everyday bag. It's very clearly not um, probably even that functional of a bag. It's more of an accessory. It's more of a statement piece to add to your outfit uh, to just give it a little bit of a voice. And so I think that these more novelty bags are inherently gender neutral just because I don't think that, I think that when you're not styling for functionality, it gives you more room for the creative. And in, and when you're truly being creative with the ways that you are designing these pieces, I think you're already thinking outside of the box and outside of the binary. And so that's why I, I'm gonna add these to this list. Obviously these are not gonna be for everybody um, because they can be like OD expensive, but um, I think for the right person that can style it up, I think it could be a look. And that is my video on the top bags that you can get right now. Let me know if you have any of these. Let me know if you like these videos on accessories. I'm really interested in accessories at the, at the moment. Um, this ring that I'm wearing right now is from a brand called Modu. Uh, this ring too. This ring also is from Modu, uh, they sent these to me, so thank you to that brand for gifting these. I will link both of these uh, in the description down below. But like I said, my name is Shay Fox, this is the Major Look Channel, and do not forget, wear what you want, wear what you like, wear it out. See you soon. Chase!